Behind every good deed and behind every bad deed, there is a man. There is a human. Behind every good deed and behind every bad deed, there is a human. I call this video the root of the problem, getting rid of the distraction. Distraction being words like government and Illuminati. The government and Illuminati is just that a word. But a word or a government office or some secret group that we don't even really know exists is just a distraction. To get to the truth, to get to the root of the problem, we have to find the human that is that has started and maintained the deed or the oppression or whatever that, that we are going through. Everything else is a, is a distraction. Corporate media is big on distraction. That's why I love this, this thing we got on the internet. The, in, the internet helps us burn away the distraction. But you got to have, as some people say, the third eye open. Yeah, that's what they say anyway. Another thing is when we, whenever we hear something or watch something, see something, we got to sit there and, and truly, and truly go through it in our minds and make sure everything lines up. Make sure everything lines up with the truth. Because if it don't, then we know something ain't right about that situation. Like that Walter Walter Scott shooting. I don't know, something sit right with me about that video. I want to do a breakdown on it, but I don't, I don't got the time for that. I do want to bring out some points, though. Like at the beginning of the video. Soon as the cameraman got his frame, got his, got his camera in, in the frame, that's when the action started. It's like somebody said action, like they was in a movie. And then they started acting. <laughs> like what was they doing so close to each other anyway? It looked like they was kissing or something. I mean, I hate to make light of a man death, but I don't know, in my search for the truth, they say believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Yeah. Another thing is that 50 years old, did he really think he was gonna get far being that close to a cop? I don't know. It don't seem right to me. It don't seem right. No flash from the gun fire? That's kinda odd. I don't know. I don't really deal with guns, so I can't say. After the police start shooting, stop shooting, he looks in the cameraman direction. Looked to me like he was he was making sure that the, uh, they caught the uh, action. I don't know. I could be wrong. And the damn cameraman reacts to the shots 15 seconds after the fact. <laughs> he shoot the man. He laying down and he walks over. Then he like, oh shit! Like you didn't. Why you didn't say that when when he first got shot? I don't know. Late reaction. Could be coincidence. Who knows? Let's see what up. No blood on the shirt. You didn't see no blood nowhere. It's kind of crazy, ain't it? No. Some dude said when you get shot like that, the blood pools in the body or something. But how often does that happen? I don't know. Let's see. No cries from the victim when he got shot. He didn't. He didn't say nothing. No. Oh, nothing. He just fell down. Cops come over, move him around. No reaction. And he wasn't dead until, I think, after the black cop got there. So, he should have been saying something. If you get shot, you're going to say something. You feel that, motherfucker. You got shot five times. Let's see. And this is what really killed me right here. Damn cameraman is right by the gate. Ten feet from where the cops, both of the cops at. And they both look in his direction and don't say nothing. Y'all don't find that odd? I find that extremely odd. My last point is the planting of the evidence was stupid. I mean, the cop could have left 
the, the taser where it was, it wouldn't have made a difference. Actually, it would have made more sense because that's where the action occurred, where he said the, the victim tried to grab the, the taser. But you're going to plant it over there where he got shot. But I guess he didn't think the video was going to be, <laughs> there wasn't going to be a video of the shooting, but he looked right at the cameraman, so, you know, the, ho the whole shit is stupid, y'all. All right, Peter Walter Scott, you know what I'm saying? I hope the family find closure. But we got to look at this thing from, from all the angles, all the angles. Anyway, true love, true peace, true knowledge, no division, no corrupt systems. I'm out.